One of the most famous theories about Stonehenge was that it was a celestial computer. And that was a theory put forward by an American astronomer, uh, Gerald Hawkins. He sadly uh, died a couple of years ago. Uh, but it's a very interesting and attractive idea. It was one of the first applications to, of using computers to solve archaeological problems. How is it fed? Well, I think most archaeologists would recognize there's definitely celestial observations built into the layout and it's without a doubt the movements of the sun on its longest and shortest days what we call the solstices um, so then one direction towards midwinter sunset and on the other direction towards midwinter sunrise <laughs> There's also some evidence for tracking particular moments in the lunar cycle. An interesting and quite important aspect of the astronomy theory is that actually all of that's old hat by the time that Stonehenge was put up. We've got evidence from Central Europe now that a good 2,000 years before Stonehenge, people are building monuments which actually mark out the solstice and this is knowledge that is well known in Britain a thousand years before Stonehenge as well. So I think we shouldn't see it as an observatory, um, it's more a commemoration and an acknowledgement that these are principles in motion in the heavens that um, they are well aware of and which are all part of this, this great cosmic um, sense of, of being.